next question is about luminescence fluorescence and phosphorescence these are the types of which among the following techniques whether it is absorption emission both or transmittance so what are these three terms let us see that first absorption refers to the technique that measures the absorption of radiation as a function of frequency or wavelength due to its interaction with the sample this means if this is my sample holder in which i have poured my sample solution through this i am passing electromagnetic radiation we all know that these electromagnetic radiations they have some energy with them now when these radiations are passing through the sample means through these molecules okay these molecules are nothing but different structures so all electrons atoms everything is there in the sample solution okay so there will be interaction of these radiations and these sample molecules during this interaction these sample molecules they will absorb some of the energy from these radiations okay and on the digital display of the sample we will directly get the uh, value in the form of absorbance on the screen so this is absorption spectroscopy and there are many different types of absorption spectroscopy the commonly used are xrd that is x-ray diffraction spectroscopy then we have uv visible absorption spectroscopy ir microwave absorption nmr these all techniques we have already learned in which the electromagnetic radiations have been used and these are passed through the sample solution next term is emission the emission spectroscopy refers to the measurement of frequencies which is been emitted okay frequencies of electromagnetic radiations which are emitted this sample solution which i was talking through this i am passing electromagnetic radiations and these electromagnetic radiations they possess some energy with them that energy is absorbed by these molecules that is absorption spectroscopy after absorbing the energy these molecules they can move to higher excited state okay so this is excited state this is ground state but this excited state no this is little unstable nobody wants to become unstable so it tries to come back to the ground state to achieve the stability and during this movement it emits some of the energy study of these emitted radiations is called as emission spectroscopy but see here molecule has absorbed energy from these radiations while coming down okay it has emitted certain uh, amount of energy that means the emitted radiations they have lesser energy with them than the original radiations which were passed through the sample so lesser energy means what means these are of longer wavelength because we all know that energy or wavelength is inversely proportional to energy okay so as energy is reduced wavelength is increased so this was all about emission spectroscopy many examples we know under emission spectroscopy which comprises of luminescence phosphorescence photoluminescence chemiluminescence and in addition to that we have atomic emission spectroscopy also so emission spectrum gives the identity of the element spectrum means graph whatever graph we get at the end of this emission spectroscopy that graph is unique for each chemical structure and intensity of emitted radiations is directly proportional to the number of atoms of the element next term is transmittance transmittance is the fraction of incident light which is transmitted i'll give you the same example this is my sample holder my sample solution is there sample solution is nothing but it has certain molecules chemical structures are there i am passing the electromagnetic radiations through this uh, through this sample and after absorbing the energy we know that these molecules are going to the higher energy level okay but there are some radiations which are not absorbed by the sample molecules so whatever is not absorbed that will come out of the sample holder as such and that is called as transmittance and this percent transmittance we have uh, seen in ir spectrum very particular which has all deep down curves which is percent transmittance versus wave number even we have provision to get this ir spectrum in the form of peaks if we plot it as absorbance versus wave number in centimeter inverse okay so we can say that whatever is not absorbed that is transmitted 
each element's emission absorbance and transmittance spectrum is unique that means it is fingerprint of that particular chemical structure therefore spectroscopy can be used to identify elements in matter of unknown composition so it is used for qualitative analysis and similarly the spectra of molecules can be used in chemical analysis of substances so qualitative as well as quantitative applications are there with respect to all these spectroscopic techniques let us see some more points about these techniques so here specifically now you must have understood that the answer is option b that is emission spectroscopy that is fluorescence luminescence and phosphorescence these are the types of emission spectroscopy and one important point here i want to uh, bring to your notice that fluorescence occurs much more rapidly than phosphorescence and is generally complete after about 10 rest to minus 5 seconds from the time of excitation this means what suppose i have this substance here okay this is some phosphorescent material and if i am keeping a light source continuously on suppose this is uv light okay and the light energy which has been absorbed by this material that absorbed light energy will be stored here in this material for some time okay so even uh, when i will switch off this light the material will keep on glowing that means it results in after glow which persists after the light has been switched off and depending on the material this after glow can last anywhere from few seconds to hours and if it disappears immediately it is called as fluorescence okay if it disappears immediately it is called as fluorescence but if it lingers for some time then that is called as phosphorescence okay and just before leaving one more important point fluorescence uh, involves short lived excited state which is also called as singlet and phosphorescence involves long lived excited state which is also called as triplet okay very commonly used term is chemiluminescence okay where there is no excitation source but chemical reaction okay chemical reaction provides energy to excite molecules uh, or emission of photons so that was all about fluorescence and phosphorescence much for watching till the end if you are new to my channel do subscribe and keep watching if you have any queries any doubts you can post in the comment section i'll be happy to answer your